The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. So you can never say that I will never offend anyone. Because sometimes you need to set the record straight. Other times you need to discipline a child. And people under your roof in order to save them from becoming immoral. In some circumstances, you need to act in ways such that uh, you cannot help offending people because you need to save an organization. From rot and collapse. Then we give the account of Jesus and the Pharisees. For the disciples actually came to hint Jesus that what he said has actually offended the Pharisees. But Jesus would not apologize. He gives two reasons why he didn't apologize. Their teachings and traditions were not from God and needed to be uprooted. They were blind men leading people astray. And he had to stop them. He had to stop them. Now today I'll continue with Paul and Peter. We will look at Paul opposing Peter. Now, Galatians 2 from verse 11. So this one is Paul opposes Peter. We will look at the why. We will look at the why. Galatians chapter 2 verse 11. When Cephas, that is Peter, came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face because he stood condemned, condemned. Na kefa ba Antiochia no me gina na nim kasatia no if he say na wadi emfumso bi what did he do e de no ye that is being condemned and as habri or sorry atia no kra na the next verse we explain afi ye to aso a i like the scriptures me do chero ni it doesn't matter who you are they will write and found ni nipa kra o ye o be chero o right o be chero kra so that christ becomes lord over all of us ne be ya christo o be ye ye nyina ye wura for before certain men came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles. But when they arrived, he began to draw back and separate himself from the Gentiles because he was afraid of those who belonged to the circumcision group. And he said, Na nipe bia wo fri Yakobo enchen enyam mae no na one amama mu fo no edidi na wo bae no otwe ne ho now he separated himself. And the Bible said because he was afraid of those who belong to the circumcision group. The other Jews joined him in his hypocrisy. Now so Peter playing hypocrisy and the Bible records it. say so that by their hypocrisy, even Barnabas was led astray. Even Barnabas was led astray. When I saw that they were not acting in line with the truth of the gospel, I said to Peter in front of them all, You are a Jew, yet you lived like a Gentile, 
and not like a Jew. How is it then that you force Gentiles to follow Jewish customs? And then Paul continues, We who are Jews by birth and not sinful Gentiles know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. So, we too have put our faith in Christ Jesus that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law. Because by the works of the law, no one will be justified. Now Peter obviously did not want to offend these men who have come from Jerusalem, friends of James. These brethren seem to have some reservation concerning the gospel of grace that the apostle Paul is preaching. Now he feared what they could do, so he played hypocrisy. Scripture says that until they arrived, Peter, he, had been participating in meals together with the Jews and the Gentiles. But when they arrived, he drew back and separated himself from the Gentiles, eating only with the Jewish Christians. Probably the men from Jerusalem might have insisted that we cannot sit with the Gentiles at meals. Because Jews need meals that are prepared according to Jewish dietary laws. And probably Peter not wanting to be criticized went along. How do I know? The New Living Translation puts it this way, verse 12. New Living Translation, verse 12. It says that when he first arrived, he ate with the Gentile believers who were not circumcised. But afterwards, when some friends from James came, Peter wouldn't eat with the Gentiles anymore. Reason. He was afraid of criticism from these people who insisted on the necessity of circumcision. So he was afraid of criticism. Maybe not for the second time. He was criticized when he visited Cornelius in his house. And Peter whose heart or whose spirit feared human beings. This is not the first time. You remember he told people that he didn't know Jesus. Jesus. As chapter 11, verse one. As 11 from 1. 
The apostles and the believers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him. Now Peter by Jerusalem no wanna wa yet twenty eight for no neno kasakasai and said I was say you went into the house of uncircumcised men and ate with them. I didn't and I walk on pa one yet twenty eight for mu na one won a kodi di so this is not the first time Peter <laughs> is eating with Gentile believers. And we shall and yet we any bready can a petro or ne ama memu for a did you. But the reason why he played hypocrisy was simple. The Bible says that he was afraid to be criticized. Now shall hey the entiana or yen in a chumka crani say no sro say you da for no ebekanim. So no offense. No criticism. He wanted to save his skin. This is how some people also do. Even in the church, some pastors will turn their face that way as if they've not seen it. So that people will say they are good people at the expense of the church of God. But you see, this is not just playing it safe. It is sin. Because he who knows what is right and does not do it, to him the Bible says that it is sin. So Peter was not just playing hypocrisy, he was actually sinning. Why, why am I saying that he was actually sinning? Let's examine Peter's hypocrisy well. See, Peter's action was inconsistent with what he knew to be true. There is nobody on earth who actually knows about the salvation of the Gentiles than Peter. Because for him, he knew it by revelation and by experience. As chapter 10, by revelation, by experience. That God has accepted the Gentiles by grace. And and not by the observance of the law. And he had defended it twice. He defended it in Acts chapter 11. And he defended it in Acts chapter 15. So you have no excuse for what he is doing. He knew what was right. But because he feared the people, he denied even the Savior. Oh, Obomodia ye as 15 verse 1. So we we'll take the account from Acts chapter 15 verse 1. Certain people came down from Judea to Antioch and were teaching the believers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom taught by Moses, you cannot be saved. This brought Paul and Barnabas into sharp dispute and debate with them. So Paul and Barnabas were appointed along with some other believers to go to Jerusalem to see the apostles and elders about the question. Now FA Akasakasa near Chinye Din Ding Ba Paulo any Banaba any won and temno. What she say a semnunti Paulo ne Banaba any won mubinum so and co as my forno and penny forno and chain away Jerusalem. I only pray that when they went Peter was not there. But let's check whether he was present. Now, verse 6. The apostles and elders met to consider the question. The question is, do the Gentiles need to observe the law? 
to be fully saved or before we can say that they are accepted into the family of God? Asem, that was the question. Asem no nese so e kwa se amama mufo e di mo se mrano so frenchem ansana wababe kan e jidi fwe busu yano huwa na verse 7. Ya tuwa so nyimu so. This is the big one. Just pay attention to Afeti, this. Hey, pa. After much discussion Peter P-E-T-E-R got up and addressed them Brothers, you know, not you think now. Nobody knows this fact than Peter. Indeed, you no, know no. that some time ago, ago, not <laughs> some time coming, this is past tense. You know, some time ago, God made a choice among you that the Gentiles might hear from my, my lips the message of the gospel and believe. Yet, was what in you and so on. What didn't want in your piano? Petro, sorry, catch there one say. And your nom, Mora Munim say, Infitia Siano Ara, na Unyanko Pon ye, me, where you muse, me, na Amana men, Mufono, and for me, num asem so, and ti asem pano, na one ye need. God, who knows the heart, showed that he accepted them by giving the Holy Spirit to them, just as. He did to us. Now, when you come on, on him, I come on. No, the one dance here, my one conquering said here, Oma ye nonso. Now, when the Holy Spirit came on them, apart from Peter, which of these people were present? I don't know. Umbra one conquering the bar one so no. We ye Peter, na one Asian we muha ine waho. He did not discriminate between us and them, for he purified their hearts by faith. Now, one ma. No in Snoye and Nayang any one them nemum um nam jidye so te wong akumum. Now so Peter is still narrating, is still speaking. Petru, now what so air kasa. Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of the Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear. Now, I feel Aden and Amoso Yanko Ponche, Sir Modi Konya, Yang, a Janum, and Yang, and to me, Ansoa to a Sianfono, a consui. Now, take the next verse. I feel yet to also. If you look at the NIV, it starts with no. Just him, no, or say, Debbie. But there is an exclamation mark. Now, so Hono, be you away, just as MBS. So, Peter was saying, No, the Petro Shah, no, I said, Debbie. He didn't get say, No, I said, Debbie, cake. No. We believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved. Just as they are. So what is going on now? The only reason one can assign to Peter's action was that he was afraid to be criticized. So he did not want to offend the brethren from Jerusalem. We also want to take this fact that his action, Peter's action, was an open statement against Paul's gospel of salvation by grace. That he himself, Peter, and the leaders in Jerusalem have commissioned him, Paul, to preach among the Gentiles. His action was an open statement against Paul's gospel of salvation by grace. That he himself, Peter, ah, no, no, Peter no, and the leaders in Jerusalem have commissioned Paul to preach. Galatians 2 from 1. Galatians 2 from 1. Galatians 2 from verse 1. Then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem. This time with Barnabas. I took Titus along also. And uh, and no 
I went in response to a revelation and meeting privately with those esteemed as leaders. I presented to them the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles. I wanted to be sure I was not running and had not been running my race in vain. Nami nam edi yeso ena mikoi nami di asempa mikano amana mengmuno metuwo eni wong a wo dingo eni kukuem na Amerika mituwo no ana mitu yano anyekwa. Now let's jump to verse nine. Afi yenko inyimu enkuru. So the apostle Paul goes to Jerusalem. He presents his gospel that he's preaching. He has received the the message by revelation from Christ Himself, but he wanted to be sure. That the message was synced with the word of God, so that you will not be running in vain. And they examine what he has, and then they commission him. This marvel Paul or the assembly of Aquacoma Mamma Mufono, now Osanko Koshe Biose, Nia Odiama, or Nia Juma, now Mirica Otuno, and Yamrica Hunu. Hope you are following us. Now, verse nine. Yashen Yemu and Cronoa. James, Cephas, that is Peter, and John, those esteemed as pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship. When they recognized the grace given me, they agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Now, who no aduma wa de amma meno yakobo eni kefa ni yohania wo buongse adum no etne ayonko fansa nifa emma meni banaba. Say, young cocker, a semino, a man among the four moon. Now, one day, one can of twenty a cafu. All they asked was that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I had been eager to do all along. J. and Yafon, Kuara, and was there, say, young Kaiwong. Now, I know so, and I may bore more than say, may ye. So, Peter's Ashi. Was an open statement against what he himself has endorsed. You realize that the big men in Jerusalem were less divided on the condition of Gentile membership. Uh, and Paul's gospel of salvation of grace. And it's for Paul, Christo Yesu Wasempa Oka and Nam Adum so Eba. Please listen to me. Afitia. Those who actually complain, the people who came from Jerusalem, the people that Peter actually feared Nipa. and was afraid because they were criticizing, were not the big men. They were people who were at the fringe or at the peripheral of the church. They really did not matter. Nipa na wakasa kasa na wakampe tuwe ni mpempi efase ordeno ho efore fore amamu emufuo senebe ya ubetu miya beka jidiye no no one chada nye nipa umu odu bebreza na normally these are the people who really cause trouble in mpempi ino saa nipei wata hajen ewa safunim since 2010 we have taken a decision that you may cover your hair or you may not be infrisi ya dunye ni ya chire ni ya sede siye jina ya se se obi amfa but you go to the locals. You see a certain woman who is not even a dickness. She's not so for mommy, always saying that we are spoiling the church and, and this you need to cover your hair. I've seen a revelation from Makion and all that. And you see the pastor turns his head. Instead of attacking what the woman is saying, the pastor just wants to save his skin. Na obi kwa kwa tumwa mibi ya wawwa ana ebi ya damfubi ya okansa funo huwa Owa kasa kasa efa wenu muho Onuwa huso nye nipa biya nani muo dube bri Na nso o wenye di yebi afa maki ya huwa Owa kan no me biya osha eni nina so o chiru ni mu Na se sofu wabe kene ni mu na wajia safune si yenu Na opese onuwa eji ni huwa Up to today, 13 years Ah, besi ne, if you do any ya chiru ni huwa Na if you hear someone doing this what is the theological school that this person has even gone? What understanding does he have in scripture? So that when leaders of the church are taking a decision, people like that will still rise. And you being the pastor, you are still afraid of criticism. Instead of setting the record straight, 
you person yen kakran kakran na ya transfer na ok o she se nipa we waka and sam sa e de fa asafo no ho a o dwene ho a na ahomete e san se na obi sa ho e di ensu e hunu pa ene wo wo twero ni ma mpanifo a wo akwadare wo twero ni e di ni kiremu e ba o di bibi fofro nso e ba ne dru sa na sofo wo ho a e se wo hwe se de ade no da no o di beto nanso na o di wada wada be se wo yesa se ne be ya e bri o di be free ho no be du ene na kwadru america ko na listen I like Jezebel for one thing. Sure, Jezebel, me she na braba, me suya bibi kakra me penasa. I like Jezebel for, for, for maybe not, not one. So, so I like her for some reasons. Jezebel na braba no me penasa mo no me bi emu. Especially the day she came and the hus the husband came home and the man was kind of moody. So what is going on? And pepe no me she na braba. Debbie or Bayana, Nukun, Nenny my son, and will be sons. I didn't see. And the man explained that Nabot would not give me the vineyard and all that. The woman looked at him. So I thought you were the king. Yeah. I thought you were the king. And I know soon you know, said, Ah, now but when Yanni Bobby threw on Pesso at the mammy tea, and I'm your way, no, say, Ah, Nana. I thought you were the king. I also thought you were the pastor. I mean, take action. Don't let these people cause you to play hypocrisy like they did to Peter. Don't do that. Let us bow down our heads a bit and pray. Many times we want to be seen as good people nice people we don't want to step on anyone's toe and we do that at the peril of our own children at the peril of our homes at the peril of the church shall we pray that god will have mercy upon us granted that boldness to be able to stand for what is right it me away, near say young Cassia Busia, Yamma, and Nasa Asafono. Mummy and Mompay and Sere Radi say, On fire and from swore and free. Shall we pray to your Mompay Mum? Well, Lobo Sunday, how we young couple. Be cup as soon, the cup as Sunday. Help us so long. Let us love you. Let us be able to stand for what is right, Lord. And there's the boldness and the courage. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, shall we take the last bit? We want to look at the implications of Peter's action. The implications of Peter's action. Now, Peter's action caused Jewish Christians, other Jewish Christians, to follow his hypocrisy. Even Barnabas was led astray. His action would make the Gentile Christians feel like second class citizens in the church. Unless they followed Jewish ceremonial laws and traditions. The Jerusalem church was the center of the Christian witness to the Gentiles in its earliest days. Jerusalem asafono na no ni Christo sum nyina fapem anase be bia ne kofa bai ewo. Just as in the church of Pentecost Ghana is the center of the church's witness to the nation. Senia wo Pentecost asafomu no Ghana etie no. So Peter being its first leader was big in the eyes of the the Gentiles turn into Christ. Petra now ye can new decano, no any pacasia, a wa mamma mufa woba crystal mono any so and what he did and said produce a vivid impression on people. And tin ya okaya any no ye no pimpino ne nya ni pasun sun san swake see. In fact, people of such stature, whatever they do is like a tradition. And often um nipa what is ano nya wo ye biano et is a mamre. So his actions had great implications on others in Barnabas. And Paul had to set the record straight. Paul had to dispute Peter's action by opposing him to his face. 
He did that publicly, and why? Why did he do that publicly? Because Peter also did it publicly. Correcting him behind the scenes will have none effect. Because those who saw and heard will not have seen and hear what he was going to tell Peter behind the closets. So, three, three, no, ewo kukwema, nipa awo hun diye petro ye ye, no wa tidi o ye ye no, want me hunu no kukwema. The main reason is this. Nienti o ye no sa anu enye. So that the truth might be preserved. Sen ye beya, o be bo no kure no hobay. Galatians 2 verse 5. Yeshua, Galati 4 oma, etim ye no enyimu no mnoa. We did not give in to them for a moment so that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. Now one day, yamre yamu ase amma wongkwang don shire ba kumpo na sempano no kure no akoso atina mumu. My interest here is for you. Here, niyame ni chia suwa hano eye se woye di amamu. So that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. Se ni ebeya a sempano no kure no wabek kura so We need to think about tomorrow's church. Se si ye gwen o china asore no. We need to think about tomorrow's church. Se si ye gwen o china asore So we need to set the record straight because it will preserve the church against the future. Galatians 1 verse 10. Galatians 1 10 says, Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Na efe nipa ena me pese me chichu won eba mafa ana unyankopon a ana se me chichu se me so nipa eni se me da so me so nipa eni a eni e me nye Kristo akoa. So Paul has said that he is not a people pleaser. Ti suma for Paul o chire wa se o nye so be so nipa eni. His confrontation of Peter here bears him out. Nye ti authority a Peter wa hano e yi e chire pefe. So sometimes for the sake of the glory of God. Don for no me to de bia o nyankopon eni o nyam ti. For the sake of your family. Wan kasa we busua enti. For the sake of the future. Na da chin so enti. For the sake of the institution. Se ne be ya djuma ko no be gina enti. For the sake of the majority. Se ne be ya e dom no e be nyam kwenti. You need to act. Some may be offended, but act because it will prosper us, and you'll be prospered in the future. You don't have to do that for your own aggrandizement. But you have to do it for the glory of God. For the sake of the ministry. It is impossible that no offense should come. So you cannot say that as for me, I will never offend anyone. See, it is a fact that a gentle answer turns away wrath. But it is always true that a gentle response may not prevent offense. Sometimes you can say no. That's a gentle answer. But it does not mean that because you did not shout, the, the recipient is not offended. So what do we do? In the midst of all this, let us seek the glory of God. Let's put that one first. Let us put the future first. And our own interests. And the interests of some other people. And so, Eddie, I hope you understand what I'm talking you about. Say, what you say? Even in your own home, you need to save it. If you're afraid to offend your son, when you see him after 10 years, you will regret. He will turn and tell you, Mom, you should have told me. You should have told me.